congratulations, you've just started your journey to understand God grammar. <laughs> but let's unpack this a little bit and look at why one plus one plus one equals one is the only thing that makes sense. So I've got seven reasons why one plus one plus one is the most logical conclusion. These are on your notes and you can go through them at your leisure. And what I've given you there is not the complete fullness of what's in Scripture. I've just given you some texts to look at, okay? So number one, all three are called God. The Father is called God, the Son is called God, and Holy Spirit is called God. Each one created everything. Number two, the Father created everything, the Son created everything, Holy Spirit created everything. Three, each is everywhere present. That's omnipresent. The Father's everywhere present. The Son is everywhere present. The Holy Spirit is everywhere present. This one killed me. Uh, each of them is always with us. You know, when I was a little boy, I, I asked Jesus into my heart. I knew Jesus was there. And then I learned Holy Spirit could be on me too. But no one ever told me God is here too. But that's what the book says. God is with me too, in me. That's a wonderful verse. Look up Ephesians 4, 6. Number four, each is all knowing. That's omniscient. The Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Those are verses. They are all powerful, omnipotent. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. They are all unchanging. That means immutable. The immutable is that word. The, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And they are all eternal. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, they are all called God in Scripture. And in addition, the, the divine attributes that can only be applied to God are attributed to all three of them. Only God is all-powerful, all-knowing, eternal, everywhere present, and unchanging. And the scriptures attribute to each member of the Trinity. So if all of them possess the attributes that only God has, it makes sense that all three our God, and one and one and one equals God. C.S. Lewis had an illustration that he uh, used to talk about the Trinity, and it was about a two-dimensional person looking at a three-dimensional object. And what you could see of the three-dimensional object was only its two, two dimensions. Um, I found a video from the, um, the uh, Bible project? Yeah, Bible project. So we'll show that video. They use that in an illustration and they go, they'll go. they tell you everything else you'll ever want to know about God. Can we play that clip? So I've got a question that's always bothered me. The Bible says there's one God, but in other parts of the Bible, God is three, Father, Son, and Spirit. How can it be both? Yeah, this is a question that has mystified people for thousands of years. And while we